hey welcome back everyone and today the garp has released the official uh, learning objectives for frm part one and part two both wherein they outline the curriculum changes for part one and part two for 2024 so in this video we're going to be talking about the curriculum changes for both part one and part two so let's start with the part one first and this is the pdf that i have created for uh, the curriculum changes and if you want you can also purchase the part one and part two lectures or the packages from our website which is www.wordies.com all right let's go ahead and let's start with the part one curriculum changes now just to summarize there is no major change in part one curriculum so that's a very good thing if you've been referring to the 2023 curriculum the same can be applied to 2024 curriculum as well okay so that's one thing no major changes if i talk about book number one uh, foundations of risk management no major changes at all uh, the weightage is also the same 20 percent weightage here uh, if i talk about the quantitative analysis again that's there's no change at all everything remains the same those 15 chapters that you see here same 15 chapters you see here as well if I move on to the next one, which is the financial markets and products, again, 30% weightage, no major change in any of the chapters. Same 20 chapters that you see here as well. And even I check the learning objectives in few chapters, okay, uh, few or very few rather, I would say minor chapters, there have been just a theme change wherein they change the theme of of the topic but essentially it's it's one and the same thing okay so i would consider it as a no change now there has been few updates in valuations and risk models specifically uh, in interest rate chapter one learning objective has been removed in 13th chapter few learning objectives they've they've basically they've updated the older learning objectives with a new one and they have actually changed the little bit of theme as to what they are asking so yes few changes here and uh, in the greeks one learning objective has been removed and few has been updated so that's the update that we have for part one now going to part two for 2024 okay if i talk about the part two changes from 2023 to 2024 if i just have to summarize this major major changes we can see in book number two which is credit risk huge changes huge changes and there is also major changes in book number five which is current issues and that is that is given right i mean we know that current issues or garp releases whatever the things that that takes place in 2023 that's going to be the curriculum for 2024 so yes that was pretty much expected in current issues but this is actually a surprise because in 2023 itself they have changed you know the operational risk and now for the next year they've changed the credit risk so they so this clearly suggests that they have been updating their overall risk the the books that that we have it here but yes before we talk about book number two uh, let me tell you in 2023 curriculum there were 96 chapters that we had in total, right? 96 readings or chapters. But in 2024 curriculum for the next year, we have 103 chapters. So there's a lot of increase in chapters and that's, a, that's also a major change that has happened for 2024. Let's go and talk about the market risk. So no change in market risk, same 20% weightage, only one small update and that is the quanto option, which was essentially not part of the learning objectives in 2023. Now they have officially made it a part as a learning objective. So that's, that's a little update that we have it here. Okay. All right, so this is the credit risk book. As you can see, all the greens, they really tell you that, okay, these are the new uh, chapters that have been added. All the yellows that you see here, that means they are updated. That means same chapters, but they have been updated with few learning objectives. And all the reds that you see here, that's that means they have been deleted from uh, for the next year. So yes, you changes, as you can see that in 2023, 
there was around 18 chapters right but here you have in 2024 you have these new chapters and total is 23 chapters in credit risk as comparable to operational risk because in operations you have 24 right so a lot of new chapters that you see here okay one little thing that i want to tell you is that if you're using 2023 here then uh, probably you can you know use it for these chapters you can refer the old books but for these one the rating assignment credit risk the spread risk i would say that for these chapters make sure make sure that you go with the new curriculum that's going to be rolled out and that is that is the best you would definitely see the merton model uh, applied somewhere else in in 2024 but i want you to refer to the new books especially for credit risk okay do not refer the old one that's not going to be very much helpful all right so that's that's what the credit risk is the major changes is can be seen here as well operational risk if i talk about that same 24 chapters in 23 and 24 chapters in 2024 curriculum as well the only thing is that our little new learning objective has been added for operational risk so that's a very little change here uh, because this was recently added in 2023 so may no major change was expected here in operational risk okay liquidity all the 19 chapters remains the same in 23 versus 2024 so no changes here in liquidity risk mm -hmm. and if i talk about the final book which is book number five risk management and investment management 15 percent weightage the only thing that has been updated here the chapter rem numbers remains the same one learning objective has been removed from the hedge funds chapter so that's that's one update that we have it here and finally as expected current issues this like only three chapters of the climate risk has been taken from 2023 to the 2024 okay and as you can see that these are the three ones and all the greens that you see here they are totally added newly added specifically what has happened in 2023 like the silicon valley bank there's going to be a case study on that uh, a review on that uh, the credit suisse crisis that we that we saw uh, the coco wipeouts that's going to be there in 2024 so a lot of things about the artificial ai and all the the themes have changed there's a crypto ecosystem digital resilience and so on so truly this is this was pretty much ex uh, expected as i said current issues for the specific year that we that we witnessed but credit risk is a major takeaway for frm part two for 2024 okay so i would highly recommend do it from the new book that will be rolled out all right so that's the update that i have it here for part one and part two i'll upload this pdf for your reference on my telegram channel as well as the youtube channel on the description box below you can download this pdf and you can use it as a reference and and, and once again if you are looking out for part one and part two packages for the frm uh, exam we provide complete packages for both part one and part two so you can consider with that being said guys thank you so much for your time and you all have a good day ahead